Yo, what's going on, everybody? Today, we are going to be going over a nice little play that I've seen and played against the last few days. We're going to be in the Seattle Seahawks playbook for the formation bunch tight end. There is, I believe, five playbooks in the game that have this formation and this play. The Chiefs, the Jaguars, Power Run, the Raiders, and the Seahawks. So basically the play we are going to want to be calling is this PA boot over play. We're going to want to pick that, come out in it, and basically what this play does, we're going to come out and cover two just because it is a deep half beater and or glitch, whichever one you want to call it. But we are going to come out in cover two. We're going to move this football back real quick. These videos are most likely going to be shorter if they are just like a one play thing or like, I don't know, like just a few plays. The mini scheme videos I plan on dropping eventually. I just got to find a day that makes the most sense to drop them. Whether it's Saturday, I think Saturday would make the most sense, but we'll see. Either way, I want to stay uh, consistent with these videos because I know these guys help people out a lot. So it helps them get better at the game, helps me grow my channel, and you guys showing love means the world. So. I want to stay consistent with these. It's the least I could do, help you guys out with the game. But like I said, this is the play that you're going to want to be calling. PA boot over. You're going to want to streak Y, slant the B receiver, and then put RB on an angle route, which you're going to need backfield apprentice for or backfield master, whichever one. Any chem that you can get an angle route with, you're going to want. But either way, like I said, let's snap this play. You're going to have a delay fade on A. And as you can see, it just gets over top of the D path every single time. The D path is never going to play it. The only thing that they can really do is send the crib. Like I said, streak Y, slant B, delay fade the tight end, and then angle route the running back. You're going to want to snap the ball, roll out. And as you can see, the D path gets pulled down. Tom Brady has a noodle, but either way, Tom Brady has a noodle. That's going to get over top of cover two and cover three when they put a deep half on the right side. So let's go on instant replay. So basically, as you can see, what happens is this slant ends up pulling down the half, and then the angle route kind of just like, I don't know, it's a little weird. It's different when it's cover three, but the deep half just doesn't go anywhere. He just kind of stands there, and you can just throw it over top of him. And yeah, let's do it a few more times. It is going to be a very short video. But like I said, streak the slot receiver, slant Mike Evans, and then angle route. Just like that, boom. As you can see, the deep half gets pulled down, and then Tom, when he doesn't get hit, can throw it over the top and burn them deep, which obviously offense is a little bit overpowered right now. But like I said, I'm all about helping you guys get better at the game, whether it makes the game a worse or a better experience for me. As long as there's no bugs involved, like DC glitching or any of that, I will never share any of that, obviously, because at one, I don't do it. And two, I wouldn't recommend doing it. So that is going to probably wrap it up for the video. Let me do it one more time right here. Slant Mike Evans, delay fade, and then angle route the running back. This is in the bunch tight end formation, and it is PA boot over. You're going to want to pass lead that over top of the D path. And like I said, obviously this is cover two, so the middle of the field is going to be open. But if they do run cover three, the, the D path will not guard it. It will just step down. Usually when you D path the corner, it steps down to guard the angle route, I believe. But one last time, if you guys did enjoy... Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys do want to keep seeing these videos, like I said, you're going to have to hit that like button well. Hopefully this is a good start to our uh, Madden tips in Madden 22. I plan on trying to stay consistent with it. But like I said, I will see you guys possibly tomorrow. I don't know with what video, but I will most likely have a video for tomorrow. And I appreciate you guys. Let me know if this works for you online. And peace out.